Hello, I'm Joanne Summers coming to you from Prayer Mountain here in Dallas. And I want to ask you something. Are you concerned about the way our society is going? About the culture wars, what they're called nowadays, about how much perversion you see on television, about the way that profanity is just flung around, about stories that we hear more and more about late-term abortions. Are you, are you concerned about that? I know I am. And do you say, well, yes, I am, but there's nothing I can do about it. Let me tell you something. You, there is something that you can do. You can pray. You can pray fervently for these areas that I'm going to talk to you about. There, a long time ago, a, a man named Alfred Lord Tennyson said, more things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. And James, in the book of James, James said, the fervent prayer of righteous people is very, very effective. So help me pray in these seven areas of our culture, of our society. My friend Lance Wall now has identified the seven main influences that influence our culture. He calls them the seven mountains. And the first one is government. So pray for our people in government that God will raise up righteous leaders for our government. Like Vice President Mike Pence, he is a righteous man. And if you know young people who want to go into government and they're good, godly Christian young people, encourage them to do that because we need good, godly people in our government. And the sec second mountain is business. We desperately need righteous people running our businesses, our corporations. Pray that God will, will stop the greed that's going on and that there will be righteousness in, and integrity in our businesses across our country. And the third thing is education. Oh, how we need righteous people in our education fields. You know, when get involved in some way with education. I have a friend, you know what she does? She got permission just to walk the halls of the schools and pray. And that's what she does. She walks the halls of the school and prays for the schools. When I, when my son was small, I was president of the PTA there to make a godly influence on the school. So pray for our education. The next one is arts and entertainment. Oh yes. Go to see those movies that are wholesome and have good value. Support them and pray that God will raise up more arts and entertainment that are righteous. Would you do that? And then the family is another one. Oh, pray for our families across this country that the divorce rates will go down, that there will be love, that they will take their children to church, that they will love their children, train their children in the ways of the Lord to raise up a righteous generation. Pray for our families. And the other one is the church. Oh, would you help me pray that the Holy Spirit will breathe into the churches of this nation? Pray, pray, pray for our churches, that they will speak truth and righteousness and teach godliness to the people. And then the last one is the media. Let your voice be known with the media. You can email or tweet or write or call or whatever you want to do, but when something objectionable and wicked comes across the television, make your voice known and pray for media. These seven areas would you help me pray into those here on Prayer Mountain? We're praying about this, and we want to see God raise up righteousness in our nation. Thank you for praying. God bless you.